on YouTube. This is West Tech Horror. This is another update video. Uh, got three stacks of Blu-rays and DVDs. Let me go ahead and get started. Uh, these first three I actually picked up today at a pawn shop. Uh, three for ten dollars. ABCs of Death. I don't own this. I haven't seen it. I actually, uh, watched it up to H, and uh, I think the segments were pretty good. Just a couple so far that were lackluster, but uh, happy to have this, and I'll put it in the collection. ABCs of Death. Now the other one that was two for uh, three for ten. Cujo, the 25th anniversary. I do enjoy this film. This is an upgrade for me. Uh, D. Wallace. And I actually found out that this edition is kind of kind of rare. Uh, so I'm happy I have this. Like I said, I do enjoy this film quite a bit. That's Cujo. And the last one that was 3 for 10 was Near Dark. This was a score. I sold my copy, my Blu-ray copy, for like 45 uh, this summer on eBay. And I was kind of bummed about it. And I remember like a few days ago thinking to myself that I wanted to re-get this film. So I was really stoked when I found this, and especially three for ten bucks. So you know, under four dollars, and this copy is actually better than the one that I had. I do still have the uh, DVD Anchor Bay because it has like better features and the packaging is way better. But this uh, Blu-ray is hard to find, and I'm not going to sell this one. Near Dark. Now these were uh, two bucks at a different pawn shop a couple weeks ago. Blood Fest. Uh, this is cool. Friends go to a, like a festival, Halloween festival, and there's a slash that's going around. Bloodfest, uh, Alien Quadrilogy, this one was $3, I, I don't own any of these on Blu-ray, so I'm happy I do have the uh, DVD uh, box set, so for 3 bucks, I jumped on this, uh, Belko Experiment, this was $2, uh, I, I did remember watching this when it first uh, streamed on Netflix or whatever it was on, and I did enjoy it, so I'm uh, happy to have it and to check out the special features, so there's the Belko Experiment, Blade, now obviously this is an upgrade for me, uh, I love the blade, especially the first film, so I'm happy to have this. Uh, Paranormal Activity. Um, I want to get all these on Blu ray now, so here's the first one. This is actually an upgrade because I do own the other ones on DVD. Uh, the Bye Bye Man. I couldn't pass it up for a buck. I know this might be crap. I heard a lot of bad things about it. I'll check it out. If I don't like it, I'll sell it for a dollar. Couldn't pass it up. Now, this is an upgrade. I do own the first two on DVD, but uh, this is a, a badass film. Way better than the second one, obviously. I enjoy Kick-Ass. Love it. Uh, Outbreak. This was $2. Uh, this was actually rewatched. This was okay, uh, pretty good. Obviously, we could all relate to the pandemic that's going around. Uh, so yeah, Outbreak. And this was also 2 bucks. The Raid. Redemption. I haven't seen it yet, but I heard a lot of good things about it. Unrated Edition. So that's cool. Uh, now, these um, this deck here was offered 13 bucks. Picked Pick this up today at a different pawn shop. So thirteen dollars. It's not all horror. Has some uh, Blu-rays in it and Disney Blu-rays. But Event Horizon uh, didn't own this. I was always tracking it down. You know, at the pawn shops. Uh, heard a lot of great things about it. I really do want to watch this now. Now that I have it. So Event Horizon. Happy to have it in the collection. So all this for uh, thirteen. So uh, probably less than a dollar because I think I have more than thirteen. Maybe fifteen uh, titles in here. The Revenge of Frankenstein, uh, Hammer. So this looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually in great condition. The, the DVD is actually flawless in there. Uh, Waterworld. Didn't own this in my collection. We all know about this film. Happy to have it. Phantasm, Anchor Bay. I have the, uh, I think the other Phantasm, Anchor Bay, uh, sealed still in my collection, the DVD. So I'm ha happy to have this one. The, the, actually, the sealed one I have is Oblivion, Part 4. But it's sealed and is the Anchor Bay. So I, I'm happy to put this in my Anchor Bay collection. Phantasm. Now Small Soldiers. This is from my childhood, guys. Uh, I did enjoy this movie very much. I couldn't pass it up. Okay. Now these are the Blu-rays. Green Hornet with the slip. Uh, this was funny. I remember watching this when it first came out. I enjoyed it. I want to rewatch it. Uh, Frozen. I picked this up. I already have it in my collection. But this actually had the uh, digital code. So... That was great. I already put them in the digital codes. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if you guys are you have the Disney Rewards Club, but it's been like out for this whole year. Like you couldn't buy any physical or you couldn't redeem your points on any physical media. Now you can. There's a lot of uh, 4K movies and other uh, stuff you could get. I actually had 4,700 points and uh, I got two movies today. Well, I ordered two movies, 2,000 for the 4K of... Uh, uh, Thor Ragnarok and another 2,000 points for the 4K of 
Age of Ultron, the second Avengers movie. I didn't own those two, so 2,000 points each. Uh, 4K with the DVD and the digital code. It's gonna, it says it comes with it. So I'm happy to uh, probably get those in a couple weeks. So y'all check y'all's Disney rewards. And uh, there's actually uh, physical media y'all could get now. So there's Frozen. Brave, I already have this also with the slipcover. But it had the, uh, the uh, digital code. So pick this up. Uh, actually, this was just a dollar. And Robin Hood. Now, this I didn't own in the collection. So uh, pick this up. Had the digital code also. So that was cool. Uh, Robin Hood. And Insurgent, I already have this. I have all three uh, Blu-rays, but this is like the Digi Book. Let's see if I can open it real quick. And I well, actually, this has the uh, the code too. Um, this is a Digi Book. I I love these movies. Or actually, I I love the first one more than the other ones. But uh, I, I like the trilogy. Actually, it should have been a quadrilogy, but never happened. So that's cool. Insurgent. And uh, Indiana Jones, I already have the other box set, the orange one that has the uh, four pack, but uh, I couldn't pass it up. Not too bad. All right, now here's uh, the other stuff I have. Uh, this was a dollar, Fight Club, didn't have this. This steel book is immaculate. No scratches, this Blu-ray steel book is great. The classic Fight Club, add that to my steel book collection. A few 4Ks, this is actually funny. It has a lot of gore, it's not, it's not like a scare movie. Arizona on 4K. Uh, Check it out, guys. I've never heard about it, but it's pretty good. Actually, the first half is good. I think the second half kind of falls apart, but it has a lot of gore in it. Uh, another 4K, Widows. This actually had the uh, digital code also. Never heard about it, but for a dollar, I, I pick up these four, these 4Ks. Uh, Cube 2, Hypercube. This actually rounds out the, uh, the second one that I needed. This one's a pretty good film. The 13th Child. have no idea what this is about. Uh, number 23, we all seen this, I need to rewatch this, Something Wicked, this is a, one of the last Britney Murphy uh, films, that looks pretty cool, Breathing Room, have no idea, this is actually still sealed, Slipcover, looks pretty cool, another After Dark Horror Fist, Unearthed, with the Slip, Carnivore, really low budget film, uh, Tokyo Psycho. Now this looks pretty good. It says uh, based on a true story. So there's some J horror. Add to the Japanese collection. Wishmaster Three. I own the first two on DVD, so that's cool to have. Uh, Blair Witch. Not a bad uh, sequel. Not at all. So that's okay. This is the first time when I uh, first time seeing it, buying this because I didn't see it when it first came out. It has a slip. Uh, this I did go to the theaters to watch. Uh, Unfriended. It was okay. So, uh, I'll put it in my collection because I didn't own it. It's worth picking up for a dollar on DVD. Secret Window, we all know about this thriller. I want to rewatch this. I didn't own it, but this is a great thriller. Uh, this is crap. Terminator, Dark Fate, I'm sorry. It, it was, they're all copies of Part 2. That's all they are, so that's not that good. Uh, Rise of the Zombies, Danny Trejo. And the last one, uh, Poltergeist. I didn't own this edition. I have the DVD where it's part one and part two. And I own the other Polter Poltergeist, the white case edition one. But I don't own this uh, snapper case. So, yeah. There it is. There it is, guys. I uh, appreciate it. 